Ransomware attacks are at an all-time high and no sector is safe. In 2020, the average ransomware payout increased to over 300,000, up 171% from payouts in the previous year. I've appeared all over TV and news streaming networks extolling best cybersecurity practices such as multi-factor authentication, training against phishing attacks, and of course, regular data backups. But cybersecurity best practices can feel tedious to some and downright daunting to others in the face of so many breaches and hacks out in the wild. Many software solutions and socially engineered training fail to engage the user and truly prevent ransomware before it infects a network. So I've overseen the development of advanced wireless threat detection tools being used worldwide in government, corporate, military, and law enforcement facilities daily. This past year, a ransomware gang known as Babak attacked the Washington DC Police Department by leaking personal data on police officers and threatening to release much more data concerning ongoing investigations, the identities of suspects, and even psychological evaluations of officers. Their ransomware spread via internet-facing hosts that have accounts with high administration privileges. Handheld intrusion detectors, such as the Yorkie Pro, allow security staff to perform quick sweeps or prolonged scanning of wireless rogue devices hidden within or just outside the security perimeter. This year's attacks on the massive 5,500 miles of Colonial Pipeline were carried out by Russian-affiliated hacking group DarkSide in a one-two punch. First, they stole data, and then they placed malware on critical servers before demanding $5 million to turn back the flow of refined oil. According to FireEye, DarkSide used a compromised password linked to a disused remote accessible virtual private network account. Wireless monitoring solutions enforce a no personal electronic device policy by detecting and alerting security personnel and anyone in earshot to unauthorized personal electronic devices. These same personal devices store passwords and private data and can be used to deploy malware onto large networks by unsuspecting employees. The healthcare sector has long been a target for ransomware. According to the HIPAA journal, the increase of ransomware on mobile devices is particularly disturbing for organizations that allow employees to use their personal mobile devices in the workplace, also known as BOID or bring your own device. Security experts have found examples of ransomware being transferred from a mobile device to a network system via corporate Wi-Fi. So how do you stop visitors and staff from bringing unauthorized wireless devices into contact with your secure network? Ferris detecting portals used at entrances are ideal for stopping staff and visitors from bringing in ransomware infected phones, tablets, and wearables. Even when a bad actor tries to sneak in malware on a device, Century Hound Pro does a much better job at detecting that device than standard metal detectors. Whether you're in law enforcement, energy delivery, or healthcare, secure your facility by installing no wireless device policies and enforcing them with pro security tools.